Good morning, everybody. We are in the Mineral King Wilderness, or I guess it's actually technically, there's Marmot up there, right on the other side of that rock. Um, all right, we can go. We are uh, in Sequoia National Park, at, doing the Mineral King Loop in the Mineral King Valley. Um, it's gonna be about, I think, 28 miles over the next two and a half days or so. I've done one hike in this area before, and it was a short day hike, so I'm very excited to go backpacking. This is gonna be awesome. We're starting at the Timber Gap trailhead, and we're going up clockwise to the little, I think it's called the Little Five Lakes Trail, and then looping back. So we're gonna be gaining about 9,100 feet. So that'll be tough. And we'll also be losing a lot as well. So it'll be a tough hike, but it'll be fun. We can take our time. We got a lot of time to do not too much in the terms of distance. And it is Saturday, no, Friday, July 8th. So, yep, that's I guess all the information we need. my car you see a lot of these cars have tarps on them that is to prevent marmots from getting into the hoods and engine areas and eating the hoses and drinking fluids I did not do a tarp I have Critter Ritter, which is a repellent spray, and I very liberally sprayed two uh, loops around my car. So, should be good. There it is right down there. Uncovered and G'd up. Cool. See you in a little bit. Two out of the four days. Yeah. How far is that bike for you? Four and a half miles. Yeah, hell yeah. So just enough time to get a good heart rate going if I try it. If you push time. it? Yeah. 20 minutes, or not even 20 minutes, 16 minutes, 15 minutes. Yep. If I try hard, but I haven't been trying hard yet. Um. Thank you. Beautiful Sequoia National Forest. Or park. It's a park. There's a forest too. There's a forest too though. Sun sun. No no mine. Here. Yep. Alright. Cool, we get the point, right? I'll tell you a second. <clears throat> According to Tom. The last time I'll have this view ever in life. He said that because of climate change, it won't be here next year. May not even be here tomorrow. The more you know. Continue on. Looks like we're gonna, we're gonna have an opening up here. This is fun team, beautiful area. We've gone 1300 feet in about 1.5 miles, 1.3 miles, 1.5 miles, I don't know. 
the one thing I didn't look at was the mileage. I'll tell you guys, going straight is a lot easier than going up. After the Greek so trail. It's beautiful, huh? Blue skies, green grass, birds chirping. Yes, I can recite you a poem easy. Let me get this out. We're passing our first water source in the first couple of miles. Doing a great job. We don't need anything yet, but all signs point to good so far for water. Almost at the top of the gap. Almost. So I weighed my pack, and I would perish to say, weighed 35 pounds when I left. I'm gonna have to start cutting back on some stuff. I did, I did a good job of it for uh, like a couple months there, and then I started to get into buying luxuries and things like that for me to bring on the trail to be more comfortable. And I think I'm gonna start going lighter just to ease the load on myself. Hey guys, I wanted to get this out. Number one, check out that distance now. Tom let me use his tripod. So I'm excited, I appreciate it. I think I'm gonna have to get one. So that's where we came from. We are now reaching the top of this pass, which is about 2,000 feet, I think, elevation gain so far. Not too much. Oh, I, I was wrong. I thought that was snow. It's just white rock. No, it's only, only 1,600 feet elevation gain. Wow, just kidding. I know it's not because it's way far away, but doesn't that look like the pass we took to New Army Pass? Uh, when we got up the tree line and we were taking pictures, like, I don't know, don't wanna, don't listen to me. Right, so now we continue on. Look at these guys, all these little baby trees growing here, right in this little grove. This is great. Very dense forest with very nice tall trees. I don't know what kind of trees these are, do you? Are these firs, technically? Ponderosa pines. Ponderosa pines. That's what Tom says. That's what Tom says. That is a mountain and a forest and a trail within. All this lush green and flowers. <coughs> yeah. Cool trees, sweet views, green everywhere. This is great. It don't be looking like this in San Diego right now. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, look at that canyon. Oh, yeah. Well, guys. There's our canyon. We got water on each side of us. We have a meadow on that side with water going down it. And we've got a canyon on this side with water going down it. And then we've got a rainbow. What? You see that? Up on yonder? This is a fantastic view. Check it out. All right. Tom, and we're gonna head out towards more awesomeness. Hey guys, check it out. So, check it all out. Check out the double, the double rainbow. Get those flies off your butt. Get them off your butt. Alright. 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 Alright, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Let's do it. Let me go ahead and go. Try to be. Yeah. You can go first. Try to be as peaceful as I can. Yeah, I know. You won't hate me. I'm sorry. Sorry for disturbing you. I know this is your this is your wilderness. Not mine. Thank you, dude. Did we just get a double rainbow in the sky followed by? Dude, double rainbow in the sky followed by. A buck. Oh, it almost does make a full circle now. Look. Followed by a buck. Oh wow. Yeah. There's a frog, I just missed it. More butterflies and mosquitoes. Butterflies and mosquitoes, but there's a frog. Tiny, tiny one or what? Yeah. Skip the way. I wonder if the frog came this far down. Or if the tadpole came this far down. Right. Uh, I want to know how cold that is. For... You want to put your feet in it? Oh, dude, that's gonna be good. That's gonna be very relaxing later. Good. Dude, the smell of flowers through here is ridiculous. Yeah. Wanna take a break? Stay by yourself. Look at the ones in the shade. Never mind, never mind, I'm wrong. What? Nothing, I'm wrong. What? Nothing, I'm wrong. I had an idea about an observation, but it turned out to be wrong. <clears throat> well, I think we found water. 
the damn swimming holes. Look at all that down there, man. We got big bees right around us. We are right now at the 5.8 mile mark and we're killing it. So this is where we've been chilling for the last hour. <laughs> Basically took an hour long break. I took a nap in my hammock. I meant to show the setup and I forgot. But this is a designated campsite along the trail by the uh, park service. So it has a bear box. Right down there has a little area to have a campfire, which Tom informs me is illegal here because it's under 70, under 9,000 feet. I do have a campfire permit as well, even though that doesn't even matter. So we are about to go up. There's the bear box. Okay, if you're eating, pick me or stay here tonight. We're going up to Pinto Lake. It's three miles from here. We came from Mineral King. steep climb I think it's Tom said it's 4,500 feet in the next five miles so we'll see Covering some ground, going up and up and up. This might be the last that I'm next to this little uh, rapid, which I've been even next to for a while. It's the same one that we stopped next to as well a while ago. So I think we're about to go away from it. I want to take the last of it on this. Oh, look at that. <clears throat> there doing his Tom thing you know hey guys see that We can see that right, right, right here. The waterfalls. Oh man.
Well, better view of the same waterfall. Water going in all directions, shooting out. We're getting maybe not up to the tree line just yet. So we are good to go. Not today. Today we're only going to do about nine miles to Pinto Lake. And then tomorrow we're going to do 14 miles to Monarch Lake. And then it'll be four and a half out. Looks nice. Um, I can see the trail and I followed it with my finger and I found the people. Oh. They're, they're about to be at the top of that other waterfall. There's other guys? Yeah, behind the, that bush right there. Yeah, there's the people we've been flip flopping with. Wow, look at that, man. Tom's ugly mug. like a pig out here gaining coming down from where those people came down from you can see them all the way down there and uh yeah just kind of like an ace it's beautiful been walking next to water all day See how much I'm sweating, or how, or anything, but I am sweating like a pig. Look at that, though. See you guys in a Hello, guys. I dip my head in the water here. Look at that. Oh, man. I feel rejuvenated. 
I'm gonna do it one more time. Hey guys, we found our camp spots. I'm gonna be going here. Tom's gonna be going right there. We are 100 feet from the water at least. And we have a bear box at this spot too, because it's a designated camp spot. We're at Pinto Lakes. Oh shit. Ugh, mosquitoes. That's okay. It's okay. All right. We set our campsites up. Tom ate dinner. My dinner is rehydrating. Tom ate some mac and cheese from 7-Eleven. Not 7-Eleven. Um, come on. I know the answer. Walmart. Walmart. There it is. It was artesian crafted smoked gouda. Yeah. Artesian crafted smoked gouda. He loves it. Artisan. He ate it in about five minutes, if that. So he must have liked it. I got my teriyaki chicken, spicy, sticky, all that whatever. Good, good, we can all read. Um, yeah, so, got his tent set up, looks like he's going stargazing style. I don't have my stargazing kit. <clears> There's <throat> my setup, I don't have anything set up yet inside. But we got some water right down there. I was able to wash off a little bit with lake water. Got my 30 degree bag from REI. My Nemo Tensor 2022 version. My Sea to Summit reactor liner. And my. I don't know which. I think I brought the Trichology 2.0 pillow. Might have brought the High Adventure pillow. But anyway, <clears throat> these are my Ultra Armor for Fours. And yeah, right there's the next one too. Security as F, if you can't tell. This is a view from my campsite. trees, water, everything. <clears throat> Only bad news is there's a lot of mosquitoes right here, but we're fine with that. That's all right. There's a turkey over there. Can you guys see it? I don't even think they see it. Oh, bad turkey. <clears throat> okay, I don't, I'm not going to go follow it. I'm not going to bother it, but, you know. Hey guys, so other than being eaten by mosquitoes, check out that big bird. I think that's a turkey. I think that's a female turkey. That's a big bird. Sorry guys, I'm actually going to take you on a little tour as I have put together my sleep system. And there's my bag, keeps it in my vestibule. Um, this is how I'm able to sleep, luckily. Oh, there's a bug in there. No. Oh, well. Anyway. Um, so, here's my bag, the shorts that I sleep in, I'm silly about, I'm silly like that. Um, my, I did bring the hike, hike entry pillow, which is nice because it's got that, a little heavier, but it's a, it's a little more comfortable than the other. 
but you know, it's, I've got plenty of room in here, as you can see, because of my, uh, you know, compartments right here, my pockets to hang my stuff in there and there, and also some on the ceiling. Uh, yeah, my sunglasses are up there too, and yeah, so I have my stuff. That's, that's my setup tonight. It's a great setup. Proud of it. And uh, it's just a beautiful night. Beautiful night as uh, we have sunset right over there, as you can see. I told Tom he wouldn't make it to sunset. Well, I told him it wouldn't make it to being dark, is what I told him. And you can see he's already, he's already getting there. He's already getting there. There's our big turkey right there, female turkey. Turkey, 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 gobble, gobble, gobble. Just look at this thing, I mean, this is just so beautiful. This is our camp spot. That's mine. Right there, I got my clothes drying over there. I got my towel drying right there. The sun just went down. At least from that ridge. It's beautiful here. Alright guys. This is the end of day one. I'll see you guys in day two. And uh, you guys have a great night.